Oh, I died, dog. These are some of my essential and top mods that will improve Project Zomboid even more. My first pick is the Vanilla Firearms Expansion mod. This mod makes guns in the game better and more realistic by replacing the original models, adding new weapons, attachments, and ammo. It adds iconic guns like the Spaz-12, the Uzi, MP5, and the MP5SD, and more. It also reworks the jamming system by making high condition guns jam less often and low condition guns jam more often. The next mod I recommend is a mod called Anthro Survivors, which allows you to play as a furry. This mod is great because, nah, I'm capping. The actual mod I recommend is Horde Knight. If you ever played Days Gone or Seven Days to Die, this mod is similar to them. At a certain time, the players will get swarmed by zombies from everywhere, almost turning into a zombie-like defense game. This mod is extremely customizable, allowing you to change the chance, distance the zombies, the time it starts, and how many zombies there are, and more. I really enjoy this mod because it adds an extra challenge to Project Zomboid, and is something to look forward to. Along with Horde Knight, if you want to make Zomboid even more hardcore, the Darkness is Coming mod is a good addition. Inspired by games like Silent Hill, this is an event where it make the nighttime even more scary by making the night darker and adding thick fog around the map. Fortunately, if you want to change the intensity or chance of the fog, you can. Unfortunately, this mod might not work in co-op because of the engine limitations. Try at your own risk in multiplayer. I think pairing the Horde Knight and the Darkness is Coming mod with Raven Creek is a good time. Raven Creek is one of my favorite modded maps. It's very hard to play on, especially as a new player to Project Zomboid, because the spawn points are unforgiving, and there are so many zombies in the city. This map is also massive, and has plenty of landmarks on it, including a huge police station and a military base. If you are looking for a challenging map, I recommend giving Raven Creek a shot. Common Sense is another great addition to your mod list. This mod adds quality of life features that should be already in the game, or are Common Sense. Like prying open doors with crowbars, flashlights can be added to belts, color indicator for battery and engine condition in a car, and much more. This mod may seem like a small add, but it makes a big difference. And the best thing is that the mod is still getting updated, and getting more things added to it. This is a staple mod in one of the GOATs. 10 Years Later is one of the cooler mods on this list. Inspired by games like The Last of Us, as the mod name implies, this mod ages the maps by 10 years, making grass, trees, and plants overgrown. What's cool about this mod is that the vegetation can also be in building interiors and on the roads, making the whole entire map look run down and almost unrecognizable. It adds to the vibe of the game and makes the game look way better in my opinion. This mod is also compatible with the modded map Raven Creek as well. If you think this mod has too many trees, Luckily for you, there is another version that will reduce them. That would do it for this video. Mod list will be in the description. If you have any recommendations on any other mods, let me know in the comments, like, and subscribe. If you did enjoy this video, YouTube thinks you will like these videos on your screen now. 